Hi guys, welcome to Easy Busy Gardening. I'm your gardener friend Ruchi, and today let's talk about growing amaranth greens. Amaranth is a superfood which is rich in calcium, magnesium, vitamin A, C, K, and potassium. Until a few years ago, it, it was actually considered a weed. It is mostly grown for its greens and for the seeds. And actually, it belongs to the quinoa family. It is rich in, I mean, the seeds are rich in uh, protein, just like quinoa. They grow in uh, hot weather. Um, the leaves can be a mixture of green and red, or uh, it could be totally green or totally red, or a mixture of green and red. I like to grow amaranth for its greens and uh, you know I can just use the greens in my salads and soups and in my curries wherever you want to put you can just add these greens so it is springtime and if you want to grow uh, amaranth this is the time that you want to grow it so here I have a divided uh, seedling planter with good drainage at the bottom and have filled it with mostly coco peat, little bit of perlite and little bit of compost because um, coco peat keeps the um, you know whole thing moist for a long time and that helps when you're growing the seedlings. So that's what I have done. So I have soaked these amaranth seeds but probably you don't need to. I just soaked it you know uh, to be safe and now I'm just going to scatter them around on this these are really tiny seeds uh, so there are much more in each pod but we'll see how many of them actually grow i think to just cover it with a little bit of soil and i'll keep this uh, soil moist all the time although i'm going to leave this container outside because the temperature outside is pretty mild it is like 75 degrees Fahrenheit in the daytime and 55 at night time and as they start to germinate I'll keep you posted it's been only four days that we planted these um, amran seeds and they are just growing like crazy and because the temperatures outside these days uh, are mild uh, I mean I have left this planter outside in partial sun and I just make sure that you know the soil is moist all the time and that's it they have started to grow it's been just two weeks that we planted the amaranth seeds some of them have dried up I think they are so tiny that you know if I forget to water them they just dry up because this is sitting outside uh, in partial sun but the rest are growing fine so it's been a few weeks and our amaranth saplings are growing really well um, you know the true leaves have come you know after the first two seed leaves uh, the true leaves have also come so and you know if I look in this pod you know there are so many of them growing that you know they won't grow well if I leave them here so I want to transplant them just push it out and you know the way they grew it uh, almost makes more sense to just grow them wherever you want them uh, uh, to grow instead of you know just uh, starting it in a uh, seedling planter except you know if it is too cold and you don't want to plant it outside then you start it in the seedling planter so I'm going to separate these out and then plant them here and of course I'll be disturbing a, a lot of roots here but that's fine you know there's no option I can't put all these in one clump so I'll just gently you know spread them out and uh, just plant them so I'll still plant you know three four of them together and then maybe later on 
I can trim thin them down. And in this container, uh, you know, I have a lot of compost and uh, um, it gets about uh, three, four hours of full sunlight. And it has good drainage at the bottom. If you let them grow, they can grow up to uh, two feet tall. Uh, but if you start pruning them, then they can stay short. So depending on how you want to grow them, you know, uh, you may uh, leave them, you know, about three, four inches apart. Or you, uh, if you want to grow them really tall, then you should um, grow them probably uh, six inches apart. So I'm going to water these now uh, because the plants are really tender so I have to keep the soil moist till the time they settle down but in general amaranth doesn't require that much water. So it's always a good idea to you know plant your seeds uh, at a final destination place because then you don't disturb the saplings but if it is too cold and you want to start the sapling then it's a different thing so it's been about three weeks that we planted these amaranth sap saplings here and some of them like this one has grown it's about a foot tall now so it has at least doubled in size these uh, are growing uh, these are also seven eight inches long but they're a little leggy right now as you can see you know there's a lot of big stems growing uh, and the reason was that there was some shade on top of it so that I have removed that shade now. So I'm going to prune these now and hopefully they'll become bushier and I'm going to use these leaves in my cooking. So I'm going to just leave a few leaves at the bottom uh, in each plant and just prune them. And that's what I, I mean, I am growing these for the greens. So uh, in any case, you know, these greens are ready to be harvested. So I can always prune them. And uh, the result will be that these will grow a little bushier. So I have, you know, this much greens and uh, soon they should grow more so after I pruned our amaranth plants they are growing again as you can see I've cut these twice already and they just keep growing look at this so I'm going to cut it again now and use the greens like this one is about one and a half feet tall some are short and some are tall, but they just keep growing and so healthy. So here is my harvest that I'm going to uh, cook. And these are all the plants left. Just make sure that when you cut your plants, leave a few leaves at the bottom so that they keep growing. If you don't leave any leaves, um, the plant may not survive. And we'll wait for it to regrow again so it's been about one month and we have been just cutting these and uh, using it in uh, various preparations and they just keep growing back and look at this you know how thick is this stem it's about one centimeter thick you know, same here so you know every time we cut you know the new branches grow uh, under that cut so we'll just keep enjoying this the whole summer long and 
it's really good for you. It is really a super food. So you should definitely try to grow this in your garden. First of all, it is a super food. Second, it is really easy to grow if you live in a warm weather or if you have, you know, a good summer where you live. So just grow it and uh, use it in your cooking and stay healthy. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.